Identity for a cycling race is vital to its success. Case in point, the Amstel Gold Race. Relatively modern when compared to the races it follows on the calendar, after 54 editions, what is it that makes the Netherlands' biggest classic so special? The beautiful landscapes of Limburg, a tempting course for classics and climbing specialists, and in recent years, spectacular finishes. Back in 2015, the race marked its 50th anniversary with a special party for past winners, including the late, great Ari Den Hartog. I was the second winner of the Amstel Gold Race. The first winner was Jan Stablenski. And uh, for me was it iets formidable, natuurlijk, om uh, the first classic in Nederland om die te winnen. Ik denk dat het toen net zo zwaar was als nu. Uh, alleen uh, de Amstel Gold Race was niet zo erg bekend. Het was de tweede Amstel Gold Race. En uh, als Nederlander zijnde en vooral als iemand die in Limburg woont, was dat natuurlijk een fantastisch iets. En ik wist dat uh, de Amstel Gold Race uh, afgespeeld, uh, zich afspeelde in het Limburgse. Uh, Ik woonde hier, dus ik, ik wist de weg en ik wist eigenlijk waar je voorin moest zitten voordat de slag ging vallen. For the Australian Phil Anderson, his victory in 1983 would be the first great one-day win of a famous career. We still had uh, about 20 kilometres uh, to the finish going up the Korberg and I attacked. And um, I was joined by Joop Sudermel and I think Henny Kuyper. And Henny Kuyper punched, and that just left Joop and I, Joop Zudemelk and I, and I attacked uh, Joop towards the top of the berg, and it was like uh, 12 kilometres to the finish. You know, I'd done well in the, in the tours, in the Tour de France, and won stages there, and, and so uh, to come up, step up, and, and uh, win the Amstel Gold Race, it was really huge. Like Anderson, Dutchman Eric Decker won multiple tour stages in his career, but few wins would top victory in his nation's biggest race in 2001. It's a really big race in Holland. I mean, uh, people in Holland, they like cycling, but uh, the Tour de France, of course, is, is really, really big. But in the Amsterdam Gold Race, it's, it's, it's also tremendous, yes. Over these stellar years, the Amstel Gold became the obvious highlight of the season in the Netherlands. But by 2016, the race had a problem, predictability. It seems to be of a pattern in the last a couple of years that the bunch is a lot bigger coming towards the finish. Uh, whereas back in the day, it was usually, um, you know, the battles were like 20, 30 kilometres to go and there'd be a breakaway and uh, whereas now it seems like it's, um, you know, a pack until like two or three kilometres to go. That kind of criticism led the organisers to act ahead of the 2017 edition. The biggest change saw the final ascent of the legendary Kalberg push back to 20 kilometres from the finish. The result? Somewhat of a renaissance for attacking moves in the race. That decision became further vindicated on an extraordinary Amstel Gold Race Day in 2019. A look behind, but Nibia Loma here is riding away from them. She's got about 50 metres over the former world champion behind Nibia Doma. 1.8 to go, the road still drags up, but when she picks up this little bit of a tail, when it's going to help her, this is going to be an absolute thriller. What a finish to Amstel Gold inside 200 metres now. She's holding on for dear life, though, as Van Vluten goes. Nibia Doma's there. Who's going to be partying tonight, though? Full sang in the turquoise jersey, and in the navy blue, you can see Alaphilippe. It's been such an entertaining day at the Amstel Gold, and Van der Poel and company are back. We've had one breathless finish already today. We're going to have another now inside the final couple of hundred metres. It's Alaphilippe who takes up on the right-hand side. Look at Van der Poel going from behind, though. Look at Van der Poel on the left-hand side. Mathieu Van der Poel's going to do it. Mathieu Van der Poel, this is incredible. Dat er zeker een grote prijs is, uh, begint een monument te worden. Als, als we dadelijk over 20 jaar uh, nog eens de Amstel Gold Race, uh, dat
dat er zoiets is. En, en uh, dan is het gewoon al een monument.